In this video, we will learn about this umbrella structure plan. What does it mean when the government of India says, various government institutions, universities, colleges can have better coordination while also retaining their individual autonomy and how it can be seen as a reform towards Indian higher education system. There is a term used for this. It is called glue grant. By the word glue, you can figure out that the plan is to link different components or you can say multidisciplinary institutions for a larger purpose and create a sustainable partnership that promotes development and not only for the particular domain, but for the entire nation. Umbrella structure means if you look at the canopy structure or the top portion of an umbrella, there will be a central point and from there wires or you can also call it ribs, they extend to the edge of the canopy. So this whole shape of the umbrella looks like structure where the central point refers to some central body and the ribs or the wire that extends out acts like branches underneath the central body. So the government is saying that all the government colleges, universities, research institutions in a city, that means we are talking about one particular city. Let's take for example Delhi. In Delhi, all the government colleges, universities and research institutions will have a central body or an authority that the government of India has made that will act as a formal authority which will help in conducting joint actions and operations in order to achieve higher goals. In simple words, this is a step towards creating singular leadership so that there is some sort of integration. You see colleges, universities and other research institutions, all these different institutions have different objectives and goals. But if you see at the root level, education and knowledge binds them together. So for example, let's say you're studying in a particular college. Wouldn't that be nice if your college lets you know about certain opportunities in academics and research that you can be part of and it is being conducted at university level? That would be nice, right? Similarly, once you are done with your college, any research institution can make use of the fresh graduate. If that particular research institution lay out all the requirements to the cities, colleges and universities. That can in turn be a great help to the colleges and universities in designing the curriculum and pedagogy that will complement what is happening in the real world. Because the fact of the matter is, today what we study in schools and colleges, most of the stuffs, I'm not saying all, I'm saying most of the information is not directly applicable in the outside world. And that creates gap between educational institutions and industry requirements. To reduce that gap, this kind of central structure can be of great help, which brings different educational institutions connect with each other. A good example is look at the city of Hyderabad. It is home for leading research and development organizations such as Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, National Geophysical Research Institute, National Institute for Rural Development, National Institute of Nutrition, and a number of defense-related establishments including Defense Research and Development Organization, among others. Now all these organizations do not have any direct link with the local universities or colleges. Once you are done with your education, you apply to these organizations through a national level entrance exam. Just imagine if there was a central body that could be a link between these organizations and colleges and universities. That way just imagine a lot of information can be transferred from one side to another. Many students will actually benefit from knowing what these institutions requirements are, what do they do and how do they do. If you see it is actually a very good stuff. Wouldn't it be nice to have well capable human resources from the nearby areas? And then if the government goes on to establish such institutions in different corners of the country and then introduce the same umbrella model to those different corners of the country, that will create these small knowledge hubs all across the country, benefiting not only those regional places, but the entire country as a whole.